back with another reaction. Biscuit versus Robin, GBB 2023. They faced each other in 21. Come on, Biscuit! Get out from GBB! Go back to the US and just leave me. So it's a rematch. And for me personally, last year, no, two years ago, it was really close. It could have gone either way. It was actually not two years, it's three years ago. Damn, happy new year, everyone. It's 24. I hope nothing but the best for you. And I know 24 will be great. I can feel it. I can feel it. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Biscuit vs. Robin, let's see. This is gonna be close, I think, or not. As we find Bizkit versus Robin, USA versus France. Once again, if you are ready, we're going to be starting on Robin as soon as he Robin gets set to first. go. Okay. I said it at the very beginning. You guys have been an amazing crowd this entire time, but we need that energy. Front, back, side to side. Are you ready? Yes. Robin, it starts on you. You already know what to do. What I say the twa, is? you say the dun, the uh. In twa. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Beatbox. Ooh, the flow. <laughs> A lot of people thought he's gonna do lion. I think, I think. It sounded very familiar. chords silent recording Time. Beautiful. Keep the love going for Robin. Come on, round one. Give it up for Robin. Beautiful. Oh, you ah. sure? With I love the message that he says, yeah, I don't care. I don't want to please anyone. I just do, do, do my thing. Probably it was referred to a knot. There were no drops. Very unsurprising, un unusual for Loop Station. Usually battles are all about the drops. But yeah, I myself also don't feel the need to have drops all the time. 
sometimes if it doesn't feel like a job, then don't do a job. Just do your music. And I think this message is perfect. If I'm right, if maybe he has a different message. <laughs> no, I think so. Okay. First spots, we go to Bizkit. You already know what it is. I say the three, y'all say the two of the one in three. He's gonna drop a lot, I think. Beatbox. that he did a similar style of a round. Oh, what I have to say for Biscuit is, I have to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of his sound design. But this song is incredibly good. It's so, so good. And I think with just some, a little more tools, the MK2 or like a second device or something or anything that helps him with little more advanced sound design, he will be unstoppable. This song is crazy. Yeah, that's the only issue I have with Biscuit is the, the sound design. He doesn't need much like to improve on. It's just a little bit of mixing because he has crazy good ideas. 
He has such good songwriting skills. He's such a good performer. He's like a complete package of a looper. It just, it's personal opinion. He just needs a little better mix on the loop station, but then he will be unstoppable because I could hear the potential, but the mix was a bit washed out, a little too much distortion for my taste. That's why I could not get really into the feelings I get from Robin's round, for example, because his mix was really, really clean. There's not much distortion happening. You can also argue, of course, that distortion is like a choice, but I think most of the time the MK1 is too limited, you know? You don't have a good distortion. You can't even EQ a good the, the, the distortion nicely. In general, I have just like three band EQ. It's like not much to do and mix on the MK1. So yeah, but he take like he gets the max out of the MK1. That's for sure. Like he pushes the limits of the MK1, and I think the limits are he reached. He reached the limits. I think the MK1 can't be more. You know, that's why the MK2 came out, came out. And I think if Biscuit takes the MK2, brah, brah, I think then it will be game over, man. Then it will be game over. Okay. First round goes to Robin. Yo, just one comment. I think because why I say this about Biscuit is if the mix was as good as Robin's, I would give it to Biscuit. Yes, because he was more technical, way more technical and on the MK1. So yeah, it's just... Yeah, but mix is also very well. Okay, stop talking, Sin. Wow! Sign a recording.
Yes. Loved it. Loved it. What I noticed about Robin, man, he became a really good, complete loop station artist. Like in 21, you could maybe argue that some of his drops were not 100%, his mixing on the drums, bass lines, etc. But now, it just felt like a complete, well balanced, good sounding, good composed song. You could play on Spotify, on the radio. It was so good and it was not like no forced drops or anything. It was just a really good sounding bass line and drums. A really good progression of the song. It was really perfect. I think this is like Loop Station reached a really crazy level of just like there's not much a big difference to songs anymore. Like you hear on the radio. This was perfect. I loved every bit of it. Okay, let's see Biscuit. Keep it going for Robin. Sweet. Last round of the battle, we go back to Bizkid. Are you ready? Yes. I say the three, y'all say the two and the one. Crowd yeah. in three. Yeah. We love silent record. <laughs> All right, wipe away the tears. It's time to party. <laughs>
Tupac. Wow. Okay, wow. The second round of Biscuit now makes it really close. Like super close. Like before I was like, okay, yeah, I think real one's gonna take it. But now the second round of Biscuit. <laughs> you have to keep in mind this is MK1 only. This blows my mind. This was... <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Damn. So here's the thing. Robin was flawless. He did two really, really good songs on the loop station. But you can say it was kind of similar technique-wise. Also, the sound design we heard before, like the second round, especially the, the, uh, the drop, the bass sound with the um, synth sound we heard before versus uh, dice. Wait, let me show you. I mean, sounds incredible, but the you have to like see it from a judge's pers perspective that the sound design was the same. The techniques were kind of similar, but they were great, great songs, really well composed no mistakes i think that's a really big factor when it comes to loop station battles it's like how are you performing on stage and how flawless are you and robin was flawless biscuit on the other hand on the first round the second chord was a bit off that's why the yeah it was just slightly off so the effect was not as great but you can really see the potential of the round was incredible the mix was slightly off on the second round it was much better i like the especially the drums are really tight like to achieve this kind of crisp and tight mix on the MK1, really, really good. So maybe with Biscuit, it's just choice. If he just blows out everything with distortion, that's his choice. That's totally fine. Yeah, I'm just stating my personal opinion. Because he has a great mix here in the second round. Super tight. I still remember this effect. This is chorus on depth 100 and really high rate. <laughs> but then the te like on the technical side, the second was was insane. The drops came out of nowhere. How he advanced the progress, the drops, like too many things. Especially um, loved it when he went up and down with the pitch later. Now this moment, I think this could have nice. some ears in a live situation in the crowd or for the judges. I think if you have like one little moment where it's a bit harsh on the ears, then leaves an impression. Also like towards this part, towards the end, the energy got a little down. God, but really nothing but respect big respect for biscuit like he pulls out the craziest technical most technical rounds on the mk wound is incredible and he can like he's on still on the same level as the mk2 beatbox uh, loopers or even higher i'm speechless so i think just because of these little mixing problems in the first round and also on the second this high part i can imagine it being like hard to listen to oh, but it's so close the second round was so heavy like I said, like for me personally, if the mix was a bit better, I would go with Biscuit. But just because of this, 
I will have to give it to Robin. Okay, let's see the result. Then three. So it was split decision, let's see. Okay, okay, uh, I can't see BD Man's vote. Uh, is it blue? Oh, maybe, I think it's blue, right? Give it up for Robin! 3 2? Look how happy. Hit him with the Damn. Oh, 3-2 is so close and I can totally understand it. And this is not the last you've seen of Bizkit either. He'll be going in the small finals as well. Give it up for Bizkit! Yes, wow. Oh my god, I hope Biscuit um, uses the MK2 in the future or something else, man, because I think with just a little more tools to perfect his sounds, wow, he will be unstoppable. His skills are just, I wish I had them. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, see you in the next reaction. Bye.